In this video, traders are going to look at creating a synthetic short stock position using split strikes in the options market. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. So if you're a subscriber or if you just come from another video, you might have seen the synthetic short stock position where we're selling it at the money call and we're buying it at the money put. And that's giving us a very linear payoff. It's creating a synthetic short position in the market. It's almost identical to if we were net short, especially at the call and the put of the same price. However, this is a little bit less aggressive. And when you use split strikes, in other words, we're selling out of the money calls and puts either side of our current strike price, so they're both out of the money, that changes the dynamics of the payoff. And the payoff diagram starts to look a little bit like this. So we don't lose any money if we're slightly wrong, we actually make a little bit, but then if we're slightly right as well, we don't make as much. We dampen off our profit potential, but we also limit our loss slightly. So it just moves the whole payoff curve and just how it looks. So let's have a look at exactly how that would work at different expiries and see exactly um, what would happen to our actual P&L. Now, first of all, while we create a synthetic short stock position, well, we might not be able to short the stock. It might not be able to borrow the shares to go short. And also creating this split strike would change the dynamic slightly so you might have different thesis on what's going to happen with the stock and you want to actually express that and, and get paid for being right so let's have a look so we sell one out of the money call we're buying one out of the money put that's generally the idea for this split strike short synthetic short stock structured spread trade it's a mouthful isn't it anyway okay so imagine that xyz is trading at 40 bucks and we are going to buy a uh, out of the money put options that will be under the 40 bucks. So in this case, we buy a $35 put and that costs us $50. So it's trading at 50 cents times by 100 because each co options contract is worth 100 shares, costing us $50. We, we have to pay that $50. Okay, this time we're shorting the one, uh, shorting one call at 45. So five, the other side of the 40, as is the split strike deal we're doing. Uh, and that's costing us $100. Um, but of course, um, that's good because even though it's costing us $100, we're actually on the other side of the deal. We're selling that call. We're the one on selling that contract to somebody. Someone's buying that from us. Someone's buying the right to buy this stock of $45 at some point in the future. Okay, that's fine. That's great. That means we make a credit of $50. We, can have, we receive $50 because we've received $100. We've paid out $50. That gives us $50. All right, good. So what happens um, at $35. Let's say what's going on at 35 bucks. Well, what's the call option worth? The call option is worth nothing because we've got the right to buy something at 45, that's at 35, that's no good. And also the put option is worth as well because we've got the right to sell something at 35, so at 35, zero value on that. So zero value on the options at expiry, but we received a $50 credit. So we were up $50. So that's not so great because if we're naked short and we had 100 shares short, we'd be up 500 bucks on that. But in fact, we're only up 50, so we, we're not as good as we are naked short on that. So that's this kind of plateau here. And it's the same for the 45, the other side. This is why we're creating these two strikes. Actually, at the strikes, this is where the same things happen, the 35 and the 45. They both expire worthless. And again, we receive the 50. But if we were naked short, that would be down 500 bucks. So, you know, what we give with one hand, we take away the other. It's something we want to decide to do or not we kind of guarantee ourselves 50 between there but we don't make any money if we're a little bit right or we don't lose any money if we're a little bit wrong okay so let's have a look if we're really really wrong in other words this thing starts to rock it goes up to 60 and uh, not so good for our call uh, which we shorted eek that's now worth 15 dollars because we're currently trading sorry it's worth we're currently trading at uh 60 and we bought a 45 call 60 minus 45 is 15 times by the 100 is 1500 dollars okay we have to pay out 1500 dollars that's not so great but we made a 50 dollar credit on the whole deal so we're down 1450 which isn't as bad as if we were naked short and we're down 20 bucks times 100 shares we're down two thousand dollars that's pretty good we've dampened that loss a little bit um, what about if we're really, really right and the thing halves, it goes from 40 to 20? Well, that call option, that $45 call option is worthless. The right to buy something at 45 that's currently 20 is worthless. But, but the put option has is, got some value. Right? It's got $15 worth of value because we're at $20 now. And we'd, uh, we bought this put option at $35, a $35 put option, which is good because 
It's got $15 worth of value times by $100, $1,500. We receive $1,500 for that. Plus we get our five, a five zero fifty dollars credit, $1,550 profit on that deal. Now less than we would have got if we were net short, of course. If we're net short, we've got more of a linear kind of dot like this, haven't we? Because really we'd be up $2,000. So this is, uh, kind of a thing that we would do if we really just want to be okay if it sits in the range still we don't want to be making any money or we, obviously we'd all like to make any money but we're happy to give that up for limiting the downside a little bit and the upside but just making sure that if we're a little bit wrong which is really what we're looking for if we're a little bit wrong i.e this little sweet spot here we don't lose anything we actually make a little bit of money just to pay uh pay for uh it was $50 by not a lot and a reasonable lunch, I suppose. So, you know, this is the kind of thing that you would structure if you think that if I might be a little bit wrong, I'd rather just have this than I would a naked short position. But of course, the, up, uh, the opposite of that is that if I'm really, really right on the deal, I'm making far less. So again, it's a commercial decision for you to make as a trader, depending on a hypothesis and what you're trying to express in the markets. Anyway, that's a synthetic short stock position, guys, using split strikes, take care, whatever you're doing in the markets. Goodbye.